Hello, today's lesson is trigonometry, solving for missing angles. Now that you've learned all about solving for different side lengths, we're going to learn how to solve for missing angles when we're given the side lengths. We're still going to begin the process the exact same way by labeling our triangles. So we're going to start off by finding our hypotenuse. Starting from our indicated angle that we want to know, we want to figure out our opposite side. Okay, and then our adjacent side. And in this situation, since we're dealing with our adjacent and our opposite, we're going to choose our tan ratio. So we'll write that down. Tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. This step is really important to write out because it helps keep you organized when you're inputting the information that you have. So tan theta, and we don't know our angle, but we do know our opposite. Okay, and we know our adjacent is one. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do um, the division over here. Now this just happens to be decimal 488 tan theta. Now if you remember back a few lessons ago, we used the inverse button and we used that to help us find angles. So since we're going to be looking for our angle, our angle will be equal to inverse tan of our ratio. Okay, so when we put that in the calculator, we'll end up with theta is equal to 26 degrees. Okay, so in this problem, our final answer will be theta is 26 degrees because we've done the inverse to solve for the angle. All right, let's look at another example. Again, we're going to begin by labeling our triangle for the parts that we know. So we know straight across from the right angle is our hypotenuse. Then based on our indicated angle, this would be our opposite side. And this would be our adjacent or touching side. Since we're dealing with opposite and adjacent in this situation, we're going to be using our tan ratio again. Tan theta, and we're using theta because we don't know the angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. And now we're going to fill in what we know. Tan theta is equal to 314 over 478. So first we'll do our division. So tan theta is equal to 0 decimal. 6, 5, 6, 9, and now we're going to do our inverse to figure out what theta is. So we're going to take the inverse tan of 0 decimal 6, 5, 6, 9, which makes theta equal to 33 and 3 tenths of a degree, and we'll round to the nearest degree, so that makes theta equal to 33 degrees. 